सो फ्रेंड्स लेट सी टुडे इज लवली गोवन क्यूकम्बर केक और ताउसिया छे मांडोस इट्स सुपर इजी नाउ हियर आई हैव टेकन वन कप ऑफ राइस वॉश्ड इट थ्राइस वेल अंडर वाटर एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू सोक इट इन थ्री कप्स ऑफ वाटर फॉर टू आवर्स एट लीस्ट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट यू सोक द राइस फॉर टू आवर्स सो जस्ट कवर इट एंड सेट इट असाइड Now I've taken uh, f- uh, four medium cucumbers. I'm just showing you two, but I've taken four medium cucumbers, washed them really well, and I've also peeled them. Then I've cut off the tips and I'll do a taste test. And if the cucumbers are bitter, then please discard them. And now we're going to cut them lengthwise like this. And with a spoon, I'm just going to scoop out all of the center, that is the seeds, etc. We're not going to use that. so you can uh, you know put this in your plants etc don't i mean don't throw it into the garbage you can put it in your plants just a small tip here and then i'm just going to roughly chop up the cucumbers and i should get about 1 cup of these chopped cucumbers now you can use any cucumbers i got my hands on these otherwise you can use the dark green ones or whatever you're really used to using and now once i've done that i'm going to add the cucumbers to a mixer jar along with 1 cup of desiccated coconut now you can also substitute it with fresh coconut i like the taste of the desiccated coconut in this cake so i'm using that and now i'm just going to grind that to a very fine paste now after 2 hours the rice has nicely got soaked so i'm going to drain out all the excess water and i'm going to add this to my mixer jar and i'm also going to be adding One cup of grated jaggery. Now you can use any jaggery, the Goa jaggery or the light, uh, you know, uh, coloured jaggery, whatever you have at hand. And I'm going to just add about one fourth cup of water to help the grinding process. And we're going to grind this to a very, very smooth and fine paste like this. So you can transfer that to a bowl too. And now we're going to make the batter for this cucumber cake. So into a large bowl, I'm going to add both of these pastes that we ground just now. To that, I'm going to add half a cup of clarified butter or ghee. So I've just melted the butter, the clarified butter. Now, in the meantime, just preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of elaichi powder or cardamom powder, as well as about 10 to 12 chopped up cashew nuts. and now you just have to mix everything really well together to get a nice batter mix this well so that the elaichi or the cardamom powder also gets nicely mixed up with the rest of the ingredients and now i've just lined my cake tin with some butter paper and i'm going to pour the batter into this cake tin now this is a 7 by 7 round cake tin and just give it a gentle tap and now you're going to put it in your preheated oven and bake it at 180 degrees celsius for 45 minutes now after 45 minutes we're just going to do the te- test to see whether the cake is ready so i'm just going to insert a knife into the cake and if it comes out clean that means it's ready if yours doesn't come out clean just put it back into the oven and bake it for about another 5 to 10 minutes and once the cake is at room temperature we're going to demold it take off the uh, butter paper and i'm just going to turn it over to the right side and there your beautiful cucumber cake is ready so now i'm just going to decorate it with some cashew nuts so i've just taken the cashew nut cut them into halves like this and decorated the cake you remember we also have cashew nuts in the cake so it makes it all the more better <laughs> and that's it guys your lovely cucumber cake is all ready so just dig in and enjoy